So if you want to see what happens when you get um, pushed onto a stage with 10 or 15,000 people and you are not expecting it and somebody hands you a microphone and you have to address 10 to 15,000 people right there off the cuff. Um, I am fortunate enough to have a, um, a really famous musician as a client and last night he played in the Golden One Center and um, they reached out and sent me some tickets so I went with a buddy of mine and we're sitting there uh, watching the show, enjoying the show, I'm watching my client up on stage and you know as the concert's winding down, a roadie comes over and grabs me and says, hey, I've been instructed to bring you up. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And I follow him. He's you know, clearing crowds, cops are making way, like out of a movie or something. And they take me up to the stage and he's like, hey, can you, um, can you just, I want you to go ahead and hand these Kings jerseys to the band members. And Pedro, uh, the lead singer, was my client, did not know that I was there. And um, so as I walk onto the stage, you know, he kind of stops and sees me. He's like, hey, Dan, and he calls me over and um, really sings my praises for a couple of minutes. It was really wonderful. What a really good guy. And then as I'm turning to to leave the stage, one of the roadies hands me a microphone and I kind of turn around and I'm sitting there with Pedro in the middle of the stage. There's 10 or 15,000 people and I'm holding the microphone and I'm all, you want me to tell a story? So, yeah, he steps back. I'm sure he enjoyed watching me out there struggling. And there I am holding a microphone in front of all these people with nothing prepared. And um, I just kind of went with it, told the story. Um, these are the videos, they're strung together and they are raw videos. So um, there may be some repeat, there's a couple um, that I've included that were taken from different devices. So just different points of view, really cool. One of the favorite, one of my uh, most favorite nights I've had in as long as I can remember. Um, the very first scene is I'm actually doing a, a TikTok you know, down in the stadium and I walk into a lounge and I, the person I actually run into is Pedro's manager. Um, and that's when, uh, when I think he got the idea to, um, to surprise Pedro on stage. So I hope you guys enjoy the videos. I really enjoyed, really enjoyed, love the night. Um, so, th you know, so many thanks out to Mark MP and Pedro and, and Pedro, your dad and Ricardo as manager. Thanks guys. Had a wonderful time. This is the lounge down below the arena. How you doing, man? Thank you for coming over here. Yeah. 
Sabe, a lo mejor tal vez no conoce a este viejón. Yo choqué en el 2020. Don't drink and drive, ok? Never drink and drive. Never drink and drive. Tenía 19 años. Anduve cagando el palo. Me quisieron meter al bote. Y este viejo, el lawyer, my, he's my lawyer, es mi abogado. Él fue, este viejo fue el que, el que cuando estaba bien morrillo andaba cagando el palo. Este viejo dijo, hey, ponte la pila acá, acá en los, con los papeleos. Y él hizo todo lo posible para que andemos acá cantando en los conciertos y ninguna fecha se moviera. Y anda acá el viejo. Es de Sacramento. Aquí, de aquí es. Y le dije, hey, I'm gonna have a show at the Golden One Center and I want you to come. And he's right here. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, Dan. You, a goat, a real goat right here. <laughs> That's right. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Dan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My pleasure, Pedro. Want me to tell a story? I heard. All right. I, yeah. I, I don't speak Spanish, so I hope, <laughs> hope that's all right. But. Un grito para mi compa Dan. They love you, Dan. They love you. They love you. They love you. There's a lot of people. Here. <laughs> they love you. They love you. So, I'll tell you a little story how I met Pedro. He came into my office with, I don't know, 15 people or so, and I had absolutely no idea that he was a rock star. And no clue. And the first, you know, four or five times I was with him, and people were walking up to him and, you know, talking to him in Spanish, so I don't know what they're saying. I'm just thinking, oh, this. He's got a lot of friends, you know, he knows a lot of people. And about the third or fourth time, I finally broke down and I'm like, dude, who the hell are you? This, this is crazy. And it's Pedro Vargas. So that's how we met. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. El aplauso para mi compa Dan nuevamente, mi raza, como no? Que chingón, que chingón. Shotty, shotty. What's up, man? What's up, Dan? Holy shit, Pedro. <laughs> and Dan, what do you think about? He finished that bottle. I can't. You said that? You guys finished the bottle. <laughs> I cannot freaking believe it. Hey, look at him. He's got another one. <laughs> let's take a shot together, man. Yeah, let's take a shot. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, Dan. Good stop, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hell yeah. He came out to the concert. That's right. I told you I'd come. <laughs>